Way, Johnny Canales. Uh huh. Abigail. Abigail. Right? Abigail. It's, uh, it's a phenomenal it, zombie movie. But it's not a zombie movie. It's a, it's a zombie movie. It's funny the way Sports, people are referring to it. It's a Dracula Day, movie, bro. Just because it's, no, it's a different, that's a different Abigail. We're talking about the, the, the one that's based off of Dracula's daughter. Be specific. <laughs> well, they're both called Abigail. What do you expect? Te- technically, zombies and, and and vampires are not that far no, apart. Like a werewolf? A wolf, no, wolf. It, it, it's a big difference. All right, let's right. right, well, not go, let's not go there. Um, I'm just, I'm just so, saying you're fucking wrong. All right. Chat right. <laughs> to my face when you come over here. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Uh-huh. Uh, no, so... Lick my unicorn. Uh-huh. Hey, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> so... Abigail movie came out earlier this year. Yeah, stars Melissa Barrera and uh, Dan Stevens, right? Dan, St- which I'll tell you this: coming coming off of what was the movie that we saw, King Kong, Kong X Godzilla, the New Empire, whatever that movie. Yeah, the, Dan Stevens, which in my opinion, I think Dan Stevens was great in. Um, he's he's great in these movies that he's coming out in. Like he, if he doesn't have to star in it, he can go all out. Dan Stevens is re- really knows how to. How to how to make his presence known? That thing. thing, yeah, he does. Uh, but Melissa Barrera, you know, coming off of what uh, the Scream movie that she got fired off of, and they she ended up making this this vampire movie. Which I'll movie. tell you this: if you wait, 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 it, why did she get fired? She sent a tweet about in support of something that they didn't that the directors didn't agree on, or somebody didn't agree, and she got fired off the of Scream. And then everyone ended up leaving screen the new screen movie because of that. Anyway, hopefully not supporting slapping little kids. No, that only happens in Pacoima. Only, yeah, only, only, and only in Paca Trece. Um, but this movie, well, if you if you didn't watch the trailer, which I I think Edgar, when we saw it, you had not seen the trailer, you didn't know what it was about. No, um, you could really you could really enjoy the movie if you go into this movie without knowing much. It's yeah. a lot of fun. This is the, this is the gripe that I have, it's, and then we. It's just, really but, easy to figure out, though. Yeah, yeah. It's of course it's super easy to figure out, but it's a well done movie. It's not it's not meant to be like oh I'm gonna break my. It's not a M Night Shyamalan twist movie, right? It they oh, they kind of twist makes no sense. They yeah they they, they tell you kind of what's happening throughout the whole movie. Or, or the trees are killing you. <laughs> or the Mark Wahlberg's daughter is a. The, the biggest twist is that Mark Wahlberg's a science teacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey, so how do you mother for me? That's a big twist. Um, no, but okay. but like this this movie is is doesn't have big twists, but it does what it, what it what it meant to set out to do. It does it well. It's in my opinion, it felt like a. It felt like it felt like an adaptation of Dracula's daughter, right? Because that's what this movie's about. You, you, you're getting. I'm getting a Universal monsters, mo- a monster movie, um, from I, which I don't even think this is a Universal movie. It's a Universal. I don't film. think so either. It, yeah, though it is Universal. See, so this is another one of those movies that this feels very similar in the vein of how they made like Invisible Man, right? Like keeping the universal monsters alive without having to actually put them a hundred percent, the monster in here, you're using his daughter. There is an allusion to, you know, there is an allusion to Dracula or there is Dracula. Technically, if you haven't seen the movie, you mean, spoiler. You mean, you mean alluding? He is in the movie. He did not alluded to, he is in the movie, right? Towards the end of the movie, you do get, you get that, but you get a vampire's daughter, right? You, the whole movie is the vampire's daughter, but it's not like she, she's not sitting out just to do things. She's sitting out to kill first, people. First of all, say it right. He's, he's a vampire. <laughs> she she set out to uh, to pretty much protect the father, her father's business, to gain his love, right? Because yeah, that's that's all it is. That's essentially the whole point. She's trying to get back into her dad's graces. This is the, the ballerina movie we all need. Yeah, well, there is the ballerina coming out with the one the, with uh, what's with her bang, face with the bang bangs and the pew pews? Yeah. No, what's her face? Ah, uh, what's her face? Anna de, Anna de Armas. Oh, Anna de Armas. All right, relax. Come back to bed. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, no, but this, Ooh, this, baby, that's right. <laughs> Insert clip now. Uh, <laughs> but. You know, this movie is just—it's another one that's just a lot of fun. This is not meant to win anything special. Not meant to be, um, you know, a Scorsese movie. It's—it's it's a well done. Vamp- <laughs> Fucking relax. Fuck Scorsese. All right, relax. He—he 
he's okay. Okay, he doesn't make fun movies. He doesn't make these big deep movies. Well, that's he overdoes he, movies. But his movies, like his gangster movies, are still like it's they're, not meant to be. They're the same gangster. Movie. They're gangster. They're not meant to be it's epic gangster. movies. This is this is a hard R in this one. But this movie Earth. is this is a monster movie. The movie that the movies that I enjoy watching, monster movies, especially when it comes back comes down to the universal monsters. They're using the IP to create something new with it, right? And and the movies I like to watch are not able to be seen <laughs> in this format. <laughs> or should not be watched by human eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, the movies I watch get me in trouble in certain countries. You're I break good. a bunch of agricultural laws. <laughs> But but does see this that's I'm the, spilling seed. I'm you're a farmer this, spilling my uh-huh. seed. Uh-huh. Go fuck a goat, man. <laughs> uh, no, you but goat fucker. Don't uh-huh. call me goat fucker. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, no, but see, but this is this is kind of what they should be doing with the Universal Monster movies. Is not necessarily making a movie straight out about the monster. We've already had those. Make a movie that still is within the Universal Monster find a way to bring them in yeah. but still a different story that's what abigail and did this is yeah it's a good take it's a it's, good it's a good take a, a re uh vamping or something yeah vamping hey you see what hey, I did there? Hey, hey, this is this guy hey, hey, wordplay hey we're just had doing this thing hey you fucking dick <laughs> <laughs> uh no but but like like what they do with the invisible man it yes the invisible man was another one that was good so this is this is how you would keep the universal monsters alive and it's not it's it's a movie that made its budget back it's a movie that was made for only 28 million dollars and it made 42 million right it you the most of the, it only made 42 well it, it was only out in theaters for a little bit no one went to go see it but it made it doubled well, it was its also money. a bad time of year so it made money it made money you get you have good actors in it you have Giancarlo Esposito you have Dan Stevens who, who by the way has been in a lot of things lately he's in a lot of stuff that's and, not and, there's, and, and that's not and that's not saying that cuz they've they've mentioned him being uh you know Xavier in the X movies he does a lot of co- like like sci-fi comic book stuff now because before it was do the right thing and all those other kind of movies now it's like hey yes. I'm, gonna Star Wars. I'm gonna make make Star Wars. i'm gonna make i'm gonna make sci-fi stuff. I'm make monster movies i'm gonna do all this he's and- so awesome that in star wars he didn't get a light saber he got a light sword he he a, a that's a blade saber. sword yeah he got a he got the dark saber uh no but but still it's, this is one of those movies that's really enjoyable it's for what it was it's it was a lot of fun to watch character wise and again it was only made for 28 well where did it go it went to blood it went to blood that's that's really what they did in this movie <laughs> a lot of blood a lot of yeah. fake right? blood all over the place a lot of fake blood uh because there's there's little to no little there's very little cgi in it uh it's it's, it's and it's a lot too. of it's all practical and i will say the standout in the cast is the girl who plays um abigail Weird. i think she did i think she did a great job um, in playing, in playing, um, well, being, the, so, being so young and taking such direction, uh, yeah, that, that, that's pretty awesome. yeah, she did a really good job. I don't know what else she's been in. I think they said something like Annie or, or uh, one of those on stage, Annie or something, or something like that. But, um, Matilda. or was oh, it Matilda, Matilda, Matilda the, the Netflix, the Netflix, the Netflix yeah, Matilda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, which I didn't see, I, didn't, I haven't seen that one, but I, don't I think anyone's seen it. They, they gave her, they gave like. She she's a she to me felt like a seasoned actors. Yeah, she really did a good job with what they gave her, and you can it felt like she was an old woman in the body of a little kid, like pretending to yeah, like yeah. An, a monster that lived a long time. In the way she was like the way she was able to convey the um yeah the connivingness, the the trying to have the try to convince them or trick them into doing this and playing the little girl part, but also yeah, being this yeah. vicious, ruthless killer. Uh, and I like the take that they made on with with Dracula. Dracula being around, having these businesses, and being, um, you know, a, gi- a giant mafia boss. Yeah, yeah, so he stayed relevant, right? That's like that's how he he's not living in the shadows. That's, that's a great way to, to that's a great way to uh, bring to keep it alive modernly. Or else you'll have a movie like um, like what's the movie with the with Nick Cage where he played the vampire? What's uh, Renfield? Yeah, you have a movie like that where it's gonna like you try to find a way to put an old school feel to it into a modern world. This easily blends it in where you're like, oh, he's been around the whole time. 
he adapted. Oh, yeah, he, he instead of being in the shadows, he was like, "Hey, you know what? I'm going to use my power, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to become super powerful and take over all these things and have people work for me." Look, I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden you see werewolves in this thing, and he he has werewolves working for him, right? Or you wolf, can easily bring, or a wolf man. No, right? those those, 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 man. those hairy creatures are called uh, Kardashians. You gotta, you gotta, That's you know. true. That's <laughs> <laughs> every every full moon, they, the hair comes out, and it's like, Ooh. <laughs> they gotta make it, and it's Bible. like ten minutes. Tape, ten minutes, <laughs> ten minutes, ten minutes tape. Uh, no, but I, I I really do like the take that they did that they made with uh, with the Dracula character, and the fact that the movie isn't about Dracula; it's about his daughter and everything that she does for him. And there are gruesome kills in it, right? There are, for him there are, and for herself. Oh yeah, well yeah. First, she was she's trying to get the love of her dad back. That's all it is. Yeah. Right. Oh, but uh, in doing that, Perfect there's Father's a lot of murder. Movie, huh? There's a lot yeah. of murder. Oh yeah, a Happy lot Father's of, Day. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of kill, kill. Right. A lot of kill in this movie, and it's it it's well paced. It's not a long movie. It's under two hours long, um, and it works. It is a a, a like the, the cast from the people who kidnap Annabelle, Ab- Annabelle, Abigail. People who kidnap Abigail, uh, you know, again, like I said, the, the whole group and the big dumb guy, which he's been in so many movies. Kevin as Durant as a yeah. big dumb guy, yeah. except in except in that one uh, Gimbal the Toro show, The Strain. He wasn't the big dumb guy in that one. He was like a big protagonist in that one. But in most things that he does, he plays like the big dumb guy or the action dude. He is a big dude. He is a very big dude. And how big is he? How big is your mouth? Um, <laughs> what? What? what tell, me when, tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, again, hold on. All right, all right, all right. No, but because uh, I think I want. I think once we went to a, a, a fair in um, a carnival in the, in North Hollywood, and he was there, and he's a really tall guy too. He's a very tall guy. No, he's uh, he's, he's taller than Hugh Jackman. And Hugh Jackman is tall. Yeah, and uh, he's. He's been in two two Hugh Jackman movies that I, I can remember. One is the the movie no one wants to talk about, uh, the Wolverine movie. Next, the Wolverine, next to Origins, Wolverine. He was the Blob and, Re- and Real Steel. He was also in Walking Tall with The Rock. Walking Tall. Yep. See, all full circle. Yeah. Full circle. Boom. Rock. Ooh, yeah, that's right, baby. When would the fuck though? But if uh, like. But Abigail, really, do, Abigail, the whole the whole group of criminals that kidnap Abigail to Abigail herself to even Giancarlo Esposito. That like again, everyone gets a time to shine in this movie because it's not a big cast. Yeah, even it's, it's what six, seven, eight people. Yeah. Tops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, think, and then uh, and they're all the, working off each other. Yeah. yeah. They're all enclosed in the one one yeah, little area. A, it, all, it all takes place in a mansion. See, yeah. so they didn't have to pay to send them somewhere else, have it extra, extravagant location shoots. It's all in one house. It's all done on like sound stages or whatever. And it um, yeah. will, will all be featured at a uh, Universal Horror Nights. Uh, no, I don't know. Perhaps, uh, probably. maybe not. Probably not. But if then even smart, you get the, the guy who plays the ancient vampire Lazar, right? Christoph Lazar. It, which in not my opinion that's dracula i don't care what you say that's dracula to me he even he even gives off the dracula vibe matthew dracula who, who plays ozymandias in the watchman right it's I another guy that is right he plays he does all like this whole movie i can't when i first saw it in theaters what was the first thing i i, I told you ozzy like, this movie was good this movie was really enjoyable if you if you don't know much about it and don't know don't watch the trailers just watch it it is a movie that's a lot of fun from everything that happens to it you have you have all you have monsters you have monsters you have you have a, a you know a, a good story and it's a new take on you know at what we know right it's 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 an it's an adju- adjunct story to like dracula in my opinion so i think well you know i, 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 I saw i saw the trailer and i saw it a bunch of times because it kept coming on um before movies a lot or we'd watch it be a commercial somewhere, but you see it and you see, but you see a whole movie there, yeah. but you still get entertained by it. It's an entertaining movie. Now, like again, like how many times do we see um, a quiet place day one? And I don't want to see that movie. Oh yeah. That's I saw the trailer so many times so much so that I don't want to see the movie. But when I saw the trailer for Abigail, I was like, I know what's going to happen, but I want to see it. It reminds yeah. me of, uh, of um, pet cemetery to remake how they kept showing it over and over and over again. I get it. Your kid gets run over by a uh, big wheeler, but still. Sorry, what? Huh? 
<laughs> no, oh, no, the the how uh day uh day one movie, the quiet place day one. Uh huh. They, they kept showing it over and over and over again. I kind of like I'm like I don't I'm not intrigued by it. I don't want to watch. Yeah. It. Just like when when just, uh, we just were watching. Like that. What is that movie with that was was directed by M Night Shyamalan's daughter? The Watchers. The Watchers. I don't want to see that movie. Oh no, it's hot garbage. I don't want to see that movie. The one with that with uh, Dakota Fanning. She's in it. And I don't want to see it. Right. Whereas when I when I when when you talk about like when you when I talk about Abigail, Abigail is just a fun movie. It's not meant to be like hey, it's. The, it went above and beyond. It's one of the best horror movies ever made. No, it's a good horror movie. It's entertaining. It has it has everything it needs, and it fits in the Universal Monster catalog of all these Universal Monster movies. Well, and, and you, you do have a point though, where it's it's to uh, to re uh, rejuvenate the whole uh, monster universe. You can actually go around it and still have these movies based on these characters, these like vampires mm-hmm. or werewolves or something like that, without having the big bad in there come out. No, 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 Dracula, <laughs> no, 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 monster. no, Frankenstein's monster, <laughs> no, well, well, I mean, I don't, I, I know that they're making a Frankenstein movie, but I don't know if it's a universal movie with Christian Bale as they Frankenstein. Always, they always make those movies. Hey, yeah, but they, I don't know if it's universal because I know, I know that they, they, they already started filming the Wolfman. Uh, no Ryan Gos, no Ryan Gosling. He he couldn't do the movie, but it's the same people that did the Invisible Man. Because you'd have Universal to hide that face Invisible with Man. all his hair. You don't want to do that. Universal did the Invisible Man. Now they did Abigail. So I have a feeling they're they, they coming. See- they're, they're making that. Like I would, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Lazar in another movie, t- taking the role of Dracula with the great head of hair. No, I don't think I don't think he'd be part of the. Bro, his hair is the universal monster. Universe. I mean, if, if 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 you do it that way, I wouldn't be surprised. But I mean, I I'm this has me interested. It. This has me interested in what they're gonna what they're what they're doing and how they're now approaching their characters because we've already seen too many of these like reboots, reimaginings, all this other stuff. Give me something that's just a little bit different. I don't mm. need to see how they make frankenstein i don't need to see all i don't need to see that story again i've already seen it it's already been perfected you know in the you know, 30s in the 30s right i, I don't I, I bella lugosi you know you know and they, they you know these guys they've already done it i don't need to see i don't need to see that done again don't ruin what's already there but give me something different right like like what they did with Abigail, what they did with the Invisible Man, maybe what's going to happen with the Here, Wolfman when it comes up. When they, when they become, uh, when when they realize that they've done this, they're going to fuck it up. That's the problem. These are happy accidents. These movies are happy accidents that 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 work. But when they start realizing, oh, these happy accidents are can be connected, so they try to do what they what they can with it, and they fuck it up. So well, I'd, you, rather, I'd rather have them not try to do it. And well, you don't need to connect them, but they just they, they, they don't need to be connected, connected, but they can live in the same universe. You know what I'm saying? Like I get you. The invisible right. man can live in the same universe, but they never they never connect with Abigail, right? And never they never intersect. But the problem is when, when they when they, when, when the studio when the stu- uh, universal realizes it, they're gonna try to connect it and then raise the roof on this one. And they be like, let's <laughs> make some more money and connect them, and they fuck it up. But why? That's what they do, they fuck things up. They 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 didn't they make I Frankenstein? So aggressive, bro. No, but that that wasn't Universal, was it? I don't know who made I Frankenstein, was but Sony? that movie was trash. Was Sony, I think it was Sony because it was a Frankenstein. Like, I no Frankenstein. I Frankenstein. Yeah. We, we 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 I we, Oz. You don't, you don't bring <laughs> you don't you don't bring up <laughs> you don't bring up the classics. That's a classic in the name of you don't put I Frankenstein and Young Frankenstein in the same sentence. <laughs> 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 they got an abnormal brain. Which, which I would say, if you haven't seen on, I think it's on Netflix, the Gene Wilder documentary. That is a great documentary about the life of Gene Wilder, where they I've talk about it. how, how he wore pants down, how he, how he, huh? uh, how he hmm. wrote Young Frankenstein and how he got it made and all that stuff. I would yeah. recommend to watch it. On that note, well, Abby, uh, so uh, also watch uh, the bloopers, watch the behind the scenes and the bloopers of uh, Young Frankenstein, which are in the in the documentary of in the Gene Wilder documentary. Were you speaking Spanish? Not the not the, the, the interview. Those aren't bloopers. The that, they talk about the yeah, bloopers. Yeah, yeah. Like, bloopers yeah. are in the movie. The interview, but Gene Wilder was a fluent. Like he couldn't speak it, but he, he could understand Spanish fluently. Mm-hmm. 
fluently. Yeah. So on that note, if you haven't seen Abigail, Abigail is on streaming now. It's on demand, I believe. I don't know if it's on any platform yet. Uh, but I on, do recommend. Is it on Peacock? I mean, it's it universal, be. so it probably will be on yeah, Peacock. Probably, yeah. uh, but I do. I it it's came one out of the, April, so it's, it it's is rec- July. It's, it is. Re- I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's if you if you go in without seeing the trailers, you're gonna yeah. enjoy. It. Like you, there's there's things in it that are just a lot of fun. It's re- it's a really well done movie I, for it's not, not the it's not streaming yet. I agree. I agree. Yeah. On that note, this has been Vinny. This is Ozzy. And we'll see you guys next time. I want to say.